ili kupiga jeki juhudi za kuwawezesha kina mama na watoto kutoka maeneo yanayokabiliwa na ugumu wa maisha pata huduma bora za afya kwa urahisi mpango wa Beyond Zero wa hazina ya msaada wa masomo uliodhaminiwa na benki ya dunia ulibuniwa mnamo mwaka wa 2016 huku chuo cha mafunzo ya matibabu cha Kenya yani KMTC kikichukua jukumu la kuwapa mafunzo ya uguzi wanafunzi 1200 Wizara ya Afya kupitia kwa aliyekuwa wakati huo mkurugenzi wa huduma za afya ilishuhudia kuanzishwa kwa mpango huo. Wanafunzi waliochaguliwa kufanya kozi hii ya uguzi katika kiwango cha stashahada walikuwa kutoka jamii zinazokumbwa na ugumu wa maisha na hasa maeneo kame nchini. ili kuchaguliwa kupewa msaada huu wa udhamini wa masomo ya uguzi kwa kawaida wanafunzi upitia mchakato mkali wenye ushindani mkubwa ambapo ni lazima mtu awe ametimiza vigezo vyote vinavyohitajika kufanya kozi hiyo We targeted students not just because they come from arid and semi arid but they are communities that are marginalized within those areas Kaunti zenye maeneo kame zilizohusishwa katika mpango huu wa msaada wa masomo ni pamoja na Baringo, Garissa, Isiolo, Mandera, Marsabit, Samburu, Tana River, Turkana, Wajia, Embu, Kilifi, Kwale, Laikipia, Lamu, Makueni, Meru, Narok, Taita Taveta, Darakanidhi, Kitui, Kajiado na West Pokot. We look at the community where you come from where you live how long you've been out of uh, form 4 so one of the criteria if you've been out for 3 5 years that is one of the indication that probably you were not able to have gone to another place so we, we get mature students some of the students finished form 4 in 1996 1992 married with children so one of the benefits is that If when they finish they are likely to go back home because they already have families there. It is a unique program in the sense that uh, you find even elderly people whom they had passed previously in their KCSC but they never got an opportunity to to train and um, the benefit to them is that uh, they are trained and they go and work back in their localities. Wanafunzi waliofaulu kuchaguliwa walipelekwa kupata masomo katika vyo vya mafunzo ya matibabu ya KMTC huko Kabarnet, Lodwa, Kapenguria, Kitui, Oloitoktok, Bomet, Msamboni na Kilifi. Why did we choose those colleges? Because we want these students to get used to working with the community communities that come from there. They are meeting people who probably are coming for the first time to come and deliver. So the colleges are as near as possible and when they are doing their practicals they are dealing with those people when they are going to rural experience the 70% uh, of the time is actually out so they will be visiting those areas coming into contact with the, with the children with issues of malnutrition with issues of uh, people who are still very cultural in their tradition lengo la mpango huu wa hazina ya msaada wa masomo ni kuziba pengo la upungufu wa huduma wa afya katika sehemu zilizo ndani ndani zisizofikika kwa urahisi na zinazokabiliwa na ugumu wa maisha ili hatimaye kuboresha afya ya kina mama, watoto na vijana wanaokuwa. Hii inalingana na mkakati wa mwaka wa 2018 hadi mwaka wa 2022 wa shirika la mama wa taifa Margaret Kenyatta la Beyond Zero. Women and children are the most vulnerable especially those living in marginalized or hard to reach parts of our country. Maternal health is an area that remains close to my heart to ensure that mothers get access to antenatal care and skill deliveries so that their lives are not put at risk. Kufikia sasa wanafunzi 737 wamefuzu huku baadhi yao wakiwa wameajiriwa na kufanya kazi kwenye vituo vya afya vilivyoko maeneo yasiyofikika kwa urahisi katika kaunti zao wakitoa huduma mbalimbali za afya ya msingi kama vile chanjo 
huduma kwa kina mama kabla ya kujifungua na kuzalisha kwa ustadi miongoni mwa huduma nyingine. They are working in far flung dispensaries and many of them are on their own. We specifically uh, reviewed the curriculum for the enrolled nurses and put a lot of weight on uh, midwifery because again as we had said we wanted to improve maternal and child health indicators. This they come out ready to handle the cases that are to do with the mothers. Kikosi cha Project 254 kilitembelea kaunti mbalimbali ili kukutana na baadhi ya waliofaidika na msaada huo wa hazina ya masomo ya uuguzi. Katika dispensari ya Miskuni yapata kilomita hamsini hivi kutoka mji wa Kapenguria tunakutana na Wilson Lomukeno mwenye umri wa miaka 40 aliyezaliwa na kulelewa katika kaunti ya West Pokot. I'm the nurse in charge currently of Miskuni dispensary. Yes, and I offer a, a range of services uh, ranging from management of common ailments uh, to deliveries. I also do deliveries here. We have a maternity unit. Uh, we also offer immunizations. I was working as a HTC counselor at Konyao, a certain facility in Port North. Uh, it was then that I heard of the Beyond Zero Scholarship, but then it was advertised. Uh, I applied for it and I got a secured the chance. Yeah, I got the I got I got the offer after training. Uh, my my scope of operation now has widened. Uh, I can now offer maternal services like deliveries, which I couldn't do before. This facility being a, a rural health facility. Yeah, currently we are only having one nurse. It's only me. Yes, and I'm serving a population of 3,841. Yes, that's my catchment population. And I'm the, one, the only one rendering the services. Uh, from the daytime services to night emergencies, it's only me. Katika hospitali ya kaunti ndogo ya Kacheliba tunakutana na Saloto mwenye umri wa miaka 28 ambaye ni baba ya watoto wanne. I try to, to join in any colleges but uh, my problem was financial problem. When I get this uh, uh, advert in, for beyond zero scholarship I say let me try it. That is when uh, 2016 Uh, February I received a message that uh, it, it, it told me that you you are among the selected uh, beneficiaries in the uh, scholarship of beyond zero the campus that I joined is Kapenguria Medical Training College uh, I joined there 15 March yeah then uh, I graduated 2018 December When I'm in Kachilipa Sub County Hospital right now, I am in maternity department where I deliver, I do delivery, I teach mothers what to, do, to be done in antenatal and postnatal. And, and, and mostly the, the, the teaching to these mothers eh, is sanitation. Sanitation for the, both mothers and their newborn. Faith Chelimo mwenye umri wa miaka 24 alizaliwa na kulelewa makutano katika kaunti ya West Pokot. Anafanya kazi kama muuguzi mkufunzi katika dispensari ya Konyau iliyoko umbali wa masaa manne kwa kutumia gari kupitia barabara ya mchanga isiyopitika kwa urahisi kutoka makutano. Alipokuwa mwanafunzi wa kidato cha pili, Faith alimpoteza mamake kutokana na saratani ya njia ya uzazi na hapo hapo akaanza kukata tamaa. Lakini babake alimtia moyo wa kuendelea na masomo yake. Alisikia kuhusu msaada wa hazina ya masomo wa Beyond Zero kwenye redio na akaenda hadi kwenye chuo cha mafunzo ya matibabu cha Kapenguria KMTC kulizia zaidi kuhusu msaada huo. Kufika form 4 mwezi wa sita, my dad akapaspia. Yeye pia alikuwa na dream ya mimi kuwa nurse. 
alikuwa anaishi kwa ndugu yake tukilima akilima shamba na kunilipia school fees nikakaa nao tu sasa nikasikia kwa radio kuhusu Beyond Zero na ni scholarship nikasema kama ni scholarship kwa nini nisijaribu mimi kwa sababu kuna mtu alikuwa ananisaidia niko tu kwa world yangu nika 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 ka, na nikasema acha nijaribu nikaenda kapenguria KMTC kazi yangu kama nurse huwa na deal na maternity kwa sababu napenda maternity na saidia wamama huko kwa kujifungua na pia watoto wadogo huwa na say, clinics hizi na wenye mimba tunawafanyia clinics Monday to Friday na pia tunadunga Monday to Friday alafu huwa tunaenda outreach kuwatafuta hao mama wa mimba na clinic tunaenda kutafuta hao at least tu tuwalete kwa kwa hospitali kusema ukweli kama singeenda nasi watoto wetu wangekuwa nakula cuz mama alizaa watoto wanane tisa na from mimi kuenda chini hakuna mwenye amesoma tumeachwa tu tunai wanaishi kwa mashamba ya watu maisha umaskini tu sasa ile kidogo napata at least na watumia 1000 wanafanya shopping ile kama singeenda na sing, singepata naona kitu kingine kama singeenda na sing, singekuwa hapa na kama si beyond zero singekuwa hapa maisha yangu ingekuwa sahi totally different maybe ningekuwa na chemsha changa ndio nilishe huyu mtoto niko naye maybe ningekuwa pingine mini useless kabisa kama singekuwa hapa kama si beyond zero beyond zero amenisaidia sana kifamilia kimimi hata kijamii baada ya mwendo wa masaa sita kwa gari kutoka Nairobi hadi Maralal katika kaunti ya Samburu tulizuru dispensari ya Katoliki ya Morijo iliyo umbali wa kilomita 45 kutoka mji wa Maralal tulikutana na Joseph na Triza wa uguzi wawili ambao ni miongoni mwa walionufaika na msaada wa masomo wa Beyond Zero Joseph na Triza huendesha shughuli zote katika kituo hicho cha afya cha Morijo wakiwa peke yao My roles as a nurse at Morijo Dispensary one is immunization that is under 5 to provide the immunization all under 5 within the the coverage area the other role is also maternity services that is both ANC that is antenatal services and postnatal services after delivery the other role also is also health talk within the community on uh, several issues that is drug abuse within the community alcoholism my role here at Morijo Catholic Dispensary uh, is to offer health educations to mothers or ANC mothers as well as uh, uh, mothers bringing children for immunization as well uh, just to to tell them the importance of immunization where they should come where they should not default yeah and uh, also the offering ANC services at Morijo offering delivery services uh, postnatal services OPD services ukosefu wa usalama katika eneo hili umeadhiri huduma katika kituo hiki na kufanya watu wasifike kupata matibabu ipasavyo. Hivyo basi Joseph na Triza ulazimika kutembelea Manyata ili kufikisha huduma kwa wasioweza kufika katika kituo cha afya. Going to the Manyata we, all, we used to schedule maybe one day to one of the Manyata to go and give immunization, ANC services, health talk. Also that is one of the way we do as a dispensary, as a team within the area. The other way also they make calls to the nurse maybe within the area that we have this problem a mother delivering at home katika ziara yetu tuliweza kushuhudia utoaji wa huduma za afya kwa jamii katika kijiji cha Lorian kilichoko takriban kilomita saba kutoka kwenye kituo cha afya during our outreaches we offer ANC services to mothers we offer immunization We offer also in case you get a delivery you cannot any leave it because it's not something to 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 postpone also OPD services that is uh, OPD services more so if you get someone dressing something like that yeah Kutoka Samburu tulielekea kaunti ya Isiolo 
ambayo yapata umbali wa kilomita moja tisini na nane kutoka Maralal kwa kutumia barabara mbaya ya mchanga kupitia eneo la wamba. Mwendo wote huo wa kilomita moja tisini na nane tulizungukwa na eneo kame wala kukuwa na hata dalili za makazi njia nikote. Kituo chetu cha kwanza kilikuwa dispensari ya daaba huko Ngaremara ambako tulikutana na Angela Wilma. Ngaremara ikiwa kilomita chache tu kutoka mji wa Isiolo ni eneo kavu na lenye joto jingi. Jambo ambalo ni kinyume kabisa na mji wa Maralal. Mimi kama nasi hapa ninahudumia wagonjwa, ninapeana chanjo kwa watoto, ninapeana huduma ya upangaji uzazi, ninapeana dawa na pia ninafanya ninazalisha akina mama. Hii scholarship nilikuwa nimeketi tu nyumbani 2015. Mwisho mwisho hapo mwezi wa kumi na moja, mwezo kumi na mbili. Sasa rafiki yangu mwingine akanionyesha, akanipatia, alitumiwa na rafiki yake kutoka WhatsApp, hiyo advert. Sasa akaniambia wacha tujaribu, tuone. Kwa sababu hata isilo ikuwa mangu hizo counties na pia. Inye imechaguliwa, so, wacha tujaribu na tukona hakika tutapata. Kwa sababu sisi pia tukua kati ya hizo jamii ambazo zinaitajika. Hapo nili-apply. Kufika mwisho wa mwaka, hapo mwanzo mwanzo nilipata ujumbe. Kunyonyesha kwamba, nimepata. Nikiwa pale KMTC, nilichukua certificate ya nursing. Ambaye ndiyo ilikuwa bado ndiyo hiyo scholarship ilikuwa inapeana. Na kenya ilinifana nichukue. Nieti nilikuwa ninapenda na ilikuwa ni dream yangu. But kidogo, nilikuwa imelegezwa. Kwa sababu usikuwa na pesa kweli nilikuwa nimepanga nitakuwa nasi lakini kidogo kuna kitu ilitokea ikaribu mipango sasa nilikuwa nimevunjika moyo nikiongoja tu matokeo sasa kutoka binguni ambayo sikuwa najua lakini Mungu akatuma beyond zero ni kama malaika tu ikafufua hiyo ndoto yangu kutoka hapo tulisafiri upande wa mashariki mwendo wa zaidi wa masaa 4 kwa kutumia gari ili kukutana na Ramadan Boru anayehudumia dispensari ya Bilik. Kitu hiki cha afya kiko sericho upande wa Modogashi. It was called at Msambweni a Medical Training College and that is where I went and studied under the Beyond Zero scholarship. The most of the diseases are actually of the disorders that I'm now getting to my practical life. Oh, we have a uh, asthmatic cases and we have all the respiratory cases be it uh, upper respiratory tract infections together with the lower respiratory tract infections and we do get them on the daily basis in our facility among the top 10 uh, disorders that we usually found mostly in under five cases uh, um, uh, upper respiratory tract infections and uh, we do manage them here. We are uh, working hand in hand with the community volunteers, hand in hand with the community leaders, community elders, to make sure the services are delivered adequately at the maximum. The Beyond Scholarship Fund uh, started a while back where we had the opportunity to train uh, three nurses in Isiolo County. And uh, these nurses are nurses from uh, the marginalized far-flung areas, areas where we've had uh, difficulty in uh, contracting and retaining healthcare workers to work in those regions due to the hardship uh, reasons of the area. Um, um, with the scholarship that was provided, we have been able to train, successfully train three nurses, uh, put them in those areas, and they are currently uh, in that population serving those uh, people in the area. Uh, basically, the deriv delivery of uh, primary healthcare, this is immunization, maternal services, and family planning. The access to these services has been uh, availed to these communities and these populations that initially could not get their services. So now uh, it's just become that much easier to get that immunization done right there next to you, uh, get that uh, maternal services that you need 
uh, av availed right next to you, given that uh, other than just being marginalized, these areas are also um, uh, plagued by the fact that the, the geographic terrain is vast, uh, the distances are uh, far. Katika county ya Laikipia, tunakutana na Veronica Siparo katika dispensari ya Kalalu. Ambapo na mhudumia mama ambaye miezi michachi iliyopita alimsaidia kujifungua. Dispensari ya Kalalu iko kilomita sabini kutoka mji wa Isiolo na eneo hili lina mandhari ya kuvutia ya kijani kibichi. Hii ni kinyume kabisa na dispensari ya Naibor ambayo pia iko katika county ya Laikipia. Kwingineko katika kaunti hiyo hiyo ya Laikipia tunakutana na John Jenga ambaye ni mhudumu katika kituo kilichotengwa wagonjwa wa corona cha Nyanyuki Showground. I was recruited under the Universal Health Coverage Program as a community health nurse. My role as a nurse is admitting the patient here, giving them medication, giving them psychological support and just educating them on the MOH and WHO guidelines on individualized care according to the care we give them here at isolation. Now with the COVID-19 pandemic, I think this is a time that we really need the, their services. <laughs> Msaada wa masomo umebadilisha maisha yao kwa ni wengi wao, sasa wameajiriwa chini ya mpango wa afya bora kwa wote na wameweza kukimu mahitaji yao ya kifedha na yale ya familia zao. I'm so grateful. I'm just very happy since I never knew that one day one time I will be a qualified nurse. So I just thank beyond zero scholarship and the whole fraternity who supported me. Ninashukuru sana KMTC Beyond Zero na World Bank labda vile wametusaidia na ningependa labda waendelee kuangalia hizi jamii zetu. There are so many students, many needy students within the community that are able now to acquire the scholarship. Now they are changing lives, individual life, family life, community life within the area due to that scholarship. Right now, I personally, economically, I am getting stable because I'm a father of four right now. They are my firstborn uh, ago boarding school. My siblings, I, I, I'm the first born in our family of six. And uh, my two brothers, sister and a brother, who are now in, in high school, they don't have problem because I, I, I pay for their fees. That is a big difference from where I was before and where I am right now and that is because of beyond zero scholarship that I, I go through. Mpango huu wa ufadhili wa msaada wa masomo pia umewatia motisha wa kazi wengi kutoka jamizi lizo lengwa. Wengi sasa wanataka kupata mafunzo ya uuguzi. As I come from this community, it's a pastoralist community, they never send children to school. But now that you have seen it, they have a nurse in, the, this is, in this facility and it's one of them, they can now see the importance of sending the children to school and so that they can come and assist the community. I'm happy that the county governments where uh, these students are drawn from have taken it very positive to ensure that they employ them. I remain committed to continue supporting initiatives that uplift lives of mothers and children. I continue to invest in training and skills building of community nurses and health workers by expanding the number of Beyond Zero scholarships from 100 to 200 in the next year. <laughs>